Hey guys, I'm from Zamella. I'm probably in a cult on a car, so I may seem a bit ugh in this video. That's why. Quite pop in. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are, then you probably don't know what's going on. Three weeks ago today, I was broken up with. Me and Carl split up. And I'm still really emotional about it. Thanks, BPD. I want to talk about breakups and mental health. I'd rather someone say it to my face than to have me go in on and just send a text. I, I thought I had more respect than to just send a text. Breakups are one of the hardest things to deal with when it comes to having mental illness. For me, I have BPD, bipolar, PTSD, depressive disorder, insomnia, and eating disorder, and anxiety. And when you throw all that into a jumble, it's hard to manage anyway. But you add a breakup. It sends the BPD off down abandonment road. The anxiety one running everywhere. I've been too anxious at uni the last two to finish the session. I left early both days because I couldn't cope with what was going on. Today we had a really triggering start. We were talking about 13 reasons why and the original suicide scene and then we were talking about rape and it was just really it really played on my emotions and triggered me a bit. But what, let's get back on topic of breakup. I feel like the worst way you can break up with someone is via text. It wasn't even a text, it was an Instagram DM. On a completely side note, Hogwarts Legacy came out today and I've got it. And my Switch is currently downloading the software. I'm so excited to play it. I've been waiting since June to come out on the Switch. Because my Switch is the only console that I have at the minute. When I got the breakup text, I immediately fell back to self-destructive ways. I was looking for something to self-harm with. Luckily, I don't have anything in my room. I keep my room. My room is my safe space. I don't have any weapons in here that I could use. I have scissors, but that's because I do scrapbooking. So my suicidal ideation kind of died out on its own. On the, sorry, there's a side tangent. I've got the best advent calendar. Ducks! If you don't know, I I love ducks. I think when you get broken up with the one thing you have to remember is it's not a reflection on you. It reflects on how a person felt, I guess. That doesn't mean you can't be angry at them. Of course you'd be angry at them. It's normal to feel abandoned by a person. To those of you who have BPD and do struggle with abandonment, let me tell you it's completely normal to feel abandoned if you break up with someone, even if you're still friends, even if you thought you found the one for life. If you want to see the breakup video that I did, I'll link it up there for you. I did a video on relationships and mental health, I will link that up there for you. And that's all I've got to say. I know this video is short and everywhere. I'm very discombobulated. Thanks for watching. My Patreon's linked up there and in the description down below. If you want to make a one-time donation to the channel, the PayPal link is in the description down below, along with my email address for, page, for PayPal. And if you want to follow me on other social medias, links are down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Peace.